I want out. I want out now. Woo! And now to make sure I do not die. I did not. Yeah, that's that's one good thing. Let's go fly around now, and probably beats my death. Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Shantae with your host, MJ406, and I'm going back to the beginning of the dungeon because I'm an asshole. See? That's one thing you gotta learn from trying to explore too much. If you over-explore, you're gonna get yourself killed. Like me. Don't be like me. Oh, crap. Well... I guess I'll cut away to when I get back to the dungeon, because apparently I'm an asshole again. I'm always an asshole, huh? Aha! Said the blind man. I can fly my way back now. I just have to make sure I don't die repeatedly. I found another firefly! I'm back now! I completely forgot that now it's nighttime I can fly around and do stuff. I had to unpause now, because, well. I just realized I can be smart now. So now we have the harpy. Stuff in the overworld is much better. However, I'm gonna go right back to the dungeon because why wouldn't I? Leave the dungeon half finished and just do whatever you want. Well, technically you could if you really wanted to. Oh god, it's a scary, scared harpy face. Technically you kind of could. Too bad the game's plot won't let you. But don't worry, you'll see what I mean by that later. Ugh. Being able to fly up here really gives you a taste for how freaking long it is to get back up. Okay. I'm back at the dungeon. However, I just realized something. This hill that I couldn't climb up that leads to the save point. In a normal situation, if you did this before you went in the dungeon, you would have to make your way all the way back. But once you have the harpy, this is actually very convenient. Because you can fly back up. Ah. See how close it was. It's bull crap. You literally have to circle around the world if you came to that point. Oh, yeah! Don't forget! If you lose all your lives in a dungeon, you have to do everything again. Enemies, at least. Locked rooms. Rooms you've unlocked are fine. But enemies that are in places, especially room exclusive enemies, you gotta do them over again. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, I accidentally turned into a harpy. I can't do anything with that. I can't even attack yet. Which every animal friend has a, tal has a talent of some sort. No, I think I mean a talisman. Only the monkey has a talon. I'm an idiot. Haha, -ha, I didn't let you hurt me that time. Alright. Now I have the harpy, I can do more. Not that there's much to do in the beginning, but... There is some thing I can do in this room. So let's go check it out. You remember there's that little alcove I couldn't get up? high towards the ceiling. Why don't we go check it out now? Do you know where it leads? To that lovely thing! Just so I waste, don't waste time, I'm not gonna go in there. Let's keep moving forward. Oh yes! One of the only major disadvantages of the Harpy is that it has horrible traction on the ground. Its horizontal movement is, well, to put it simply, not good. It's good if you need to get around and look places, but if you're trying to move around, it's probably better to not be the harpy. I mean, for most situations, it works. For some, you'd wish you never went to the harpy. Wow, I'm forgetting the elven dance already. Jeez, this is taking longer than I did before, because I'm an idiot. Ha ha! You did hit me, you bitch. Don't get a hell 
Look at me do. Oh, I went the wrong way. Damn it. I had a feeling this was wrong. See? How... By the way, that's a death pit. Water is death in this game. The only Shantae game where you can actually go in water and be fine is Risky's Revenge, because they actually have a transformation for you to be in the water. In both this and Pirate's Curse, instant death. It seems they only allow you to not die in water if they mean for you to be in the water at some point. Which is a decent design choice. I mean, it's not perfect. Ow! But it shows danger. Well, I'm not allowed to criticize. I shouldn't be allowed to. I do it, but that doesn't mean I should be allowed! Stop hitting my foot! Hmm. Now this is something the Harpy's useful for. I can now be in here and be happy. <laughs> Place I couldn't reach before because of spikes! <sighs> Note to self. Just because you can fly doesn't mean you can't fall onto spikes. That's a failure on my part. Hmm. There's a one-up in here. Oh, you know I'm grabbing it. You know I'm taking it. <laughs> I would not not take it. This whole episode probably is going to be dedicated to me exploring this dungeon. But hey, we got another firefly. That's something. There's two lives in here. Ha ho! Well, aren't I glad I checked it out. In that case, let's keep moving. Ugh, I keep almost pressing the wrong button. Ha <laughs> it's a shortcut back. <laughs> yeah, that, that door, I guess, is just a little messed up. Uh, elephant, right. Jeez. I shouldn't be standing here right now. And even better, I've learned how to not take damage from those things. Just, just, just plow into them. How have I not figured that out before? Okay, we were down there and got the harpy out of there. So I, I decided to do some stupid things and ended up getting killed. So that's fine. I'm just gonna make my way up. After pressing the right button. And now I can get in here, finally. There's a door I had to unlock. Huh. Seems very simple. Oh, how nice. That's four. There's one more in here somewhere. I'm missing one key. Now, I'm sure that's the room where the last warp squid is, too. Oh, yeah. Lost my train of thought there because a lot of what the hell just happened just happened. First off, apparently, if you're invincible, you can't fall in the water. I think invincibility frames prevent you from falling, which is weird. Second, what hurt me when I came back? And you notice how I fell into a platform of water, right? Right? Something's fishy here. And it ain't my harpy. Okay, there's only one more place to find things. Looks like I'm going back up. Oh, Jesus. Why did I think this is a good idea? I'm so dumb. Ah! What am I doing? I do not remember where the last warp squid is, although I'm also trying to find the right way through the dungeon as a whole. Hmm. Probably not this way. But everything's worth a look. Everything is worth a look. Damn it! Yeah, 
guess I'm going back again. Ugh. Getting lost in the MJ. Some of my least favorite episodes, I'm sure everybody agrees. It's never fun when you're lost trying to figure out where the hell you're meant to go in life. Ah! But I guess being lost is part of the adventure. When you find your way, it's that much more satisfying. Excuses! Alright. I think I know where the, plate, the last key is. I just have to go up here. But I'm not going out this life. No way, I need this. I meant life is in health. Ha ha ha! You thought I meant a one-up, didn't you? I would have said one-up, but that was the case. Ah, I feel stupid. I should. Ow. Ow! Careful. The bad traction carries over. It's very easy to make a stupid mistake in the harpy when it comes to movement and instant death. I've clearly proven that point. Don't be stupid. See, that wall, you would think you'd be able to climb up here, but that's apparently not the case. Oh my god! And there's still another! Man! I already had to be the harpy to get up here. You're really gonna force me to fight these guys for another key puzzle? Come on, man. That's just mean. That's just mean. Okay. Don't look like any of them are in the right place. Okay. Only one of them is in the right place. Two of them. There we go. That was a nice mixed up one. Good work. Okay, all that's left now is finding the last warp squid. Let's try to monkey around, see if I can climb to a hole or something. Probably not here. Probably in here. Maybe? No. Hmm, where would the last warp squid be, I wonder? Ugh, this is the part where I dread everything. Okay, well I have enough for one more location. There's only four more warp squids in the entire game. One of them's in here, one of them's in Dribble Fountain, and the other two are still- wait. Uh-oh. I've lost count. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're gonna be in trouble, aren't we? <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Excuse me, banana penguin. Sorry. Jet fuel banana... Stupid freaking golem thing I have to smash. Elephant smash! You kind of think it would be something back here, but no, it's just a discolored wall from the ice, apparently. It's very misleading. At least I think so. Man. Damn you, Banana Penguin! Hmm, if only it was more obvious where this last one was. But that ain't the case. Now I got two in here, so I don't need to worry about this area. There's another thing in here. A heart. Whee! Yay! Okay. Oh, whoop, whoop. Oh, jeez. I gotta remember, this is the right way to go. Okay, well, we have the last key, so now we just have to head back. I'm sure somewhere along the way is where the last, um, where the last warp squid is. No, I'm dead. Oh. Ho 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 ho! Ow! And I keep taking damage like a moron. Hmm. Whoops! I canceled the monkey because I'm an idiot. I just want to be very careful that I don't do something stupid. Yeah, it's hard when I'm, well, doing dumb things, like going in here trying to die. You know what? I actually have a hunch. That's not something I usually have. 
And the elephant is not the thing that will help reveal that hunch. Let's reveal that hunch. There we go. Using the power of flight, I shall find my way. I'll show you what I mean. It's probably not here, but I'm gonna check anyway. It's worth examining every little corner. Hmm. Out of curiosity, can the spider climb this wall? No? Okay, then. In that case, I'll do it with my original plan. Go, monkey. Go up that wall, and nothing. Yay! Fail plans! Damn it! I should have known. I knew it was harder than that. But no, I had to go on instinct, and I was wrong! Why do I keep dying? Why am I being so stupid? Oh well. Pro those are problems I'll have to answer in another life. Cause I'm about to lose my last one, I'm sure. Okay. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, there's no way. That would be way too easy. Hmm. Perhaps. Maybe it's in here because there's no other reason to... Yeah, I found it. All right, good. We good. We out. I was gonna say, there was no point purpose to that. But now I see that there was a purpose. Okay, I have one life and not a lot of health. But I'm sure right before the boss, I'll get a recovery, so. Now there's good news in that. I have the ability to fly, and I'm choosing to go up as a monkey. Oh, what I have become. A monkey. Alright, let's take this health. For this actually pretty easy boss, if I remember. So here we are. There it is. This looks like the place! There's the Twinkle Stone, but no sign of Risky Boots! Did she give up after losing the first three stones to me? Doesn't seem like a typical villain move, you ask me. But it doesn't matter because, uh, maybe this is why. Uh oh, no time for questions now! Good idea. Beat this boy and his dragon. Oh, come on. He's gonna hang in the air and try to attack you. However, this is the one time where the harpy can actually attack. In a way. At least for the fight's sake. If you climb up, you can jump on top of the dragon. It'll hurt him. Eventually he'll drop, and then you can actually beat the crap out of him there. And that's what you have to do in this fight. By the way, hang down here when you want to transform, because if you hang up there, he's going to stomp on you. You know, the stomping movie does actually give you kind of a hint on how to beat him. In a way, this is probably the game's best, most well-designed boss. Mechanics-wise. And actual boss fight-wise. In terms of looks, i probably give the best boss design looks to number two. But, I'm not going to worry about that. Come on, you dragon tamer! We're both mythical beasts. You should be able to handle me. At least I would think so. Come on. Oh, I could have gotten another hit in. I wasn't ready. Okay, so you can get three to four hits in every time you knock him down. You can get the fourth if you're prepared enough. I'll try for four now. Like this. Oh, where are you without your dragon? You're just a lonely caveman kid. At least that's what I thought he looked like. I know we're not supposed to judge based on looks, but he looked like a cave kid. Yeah, that flashing's weird. Oh, hey, she came back. Hi again. 
I found a twinkle! Oh! Huh? Well. Oh, shit! All my stones! Well, at least you didn't take anything else. And I got tied up. Ha! That ought to shut you up. Thanks for being a perfect little stooge. Now that you've collected all four stones for me, my Tinker Bats can complete their steam-powered project. Stop by for the grand unveiling. It's sure to be a smash from coast to coast. Ha ha ha! I win, because I'm a cheater. <laughs> Holy crap. Free! But now what do I do? Frisky's all four stones. There must be some way to find or hide out and end this insanity once and for all. Maybe we'll know what to do. I'd better head back to Scuttletown. That does sound like a good course of action. So let's fly. By the way, it's not always good to fly. This is one of the only, though this is the only area that punishes you for flying too high. Although I don't really think there's anything here. So. All right. So I have five of the warp squids. There's only three left to find. If I look at it. Yep, got five. There's one more in each of the other dungeons. So we're we'll going back to all the other three previous dungeons to find those fireflies. I mean the warp squids. Well, fireflies were also missing three. Yes. I know where one of them is. I need the harpy for it. In fact, I'm pretty sure you need the harpy for two of them. The memory serves me, right? I'll just hope my memory is perfectly correct. Okay, careful. I'm just gonna throw the warp squids to this location so I can have this one saved off. Not that I'm ever gonna use it, but it's always nice to have this location set in stone by the warp squids. If that makes any sense at all. Okay, warp squid hut. Here we go. After this, we'll only have one more location to throw all these in. And that'll be Oasis Town, which is actually the last town I want to end up at by the end of the game, so... That'll be somewhat convenient for me. Yes, please take your child. Man, learn! Learn to tell them apart! I got all five in the same place. You're telling me one of those are not yours? Oh, man. Down, up, B, left, B, right. For this place. You can perform this dance anytime you like to warp back to this town, day or night. Thank you. So now I can come back here, not that I ever will, but I can. Yay! Alright, let's go to the town shop. Let me just double check. I want to have at least one of every single item in my inventory, just, just so I have it. Let's see, float candy, exit can- uh, float muffins, exit candy, twin mints, greedy jars, flash bolts, fireballs. Ah, oh, fireball, that's the last one. That's a super pike ball, basically. So yeah, there's pike balls and there's fireballs. I believe they do the same thing as pike balls, but I guess I can test that out later. There we go, I now have one of every single item of inventory. Good. Let's go to the bathhouse. Yay! Time to bathe and get myself clean. Sweet. All right. You know what? I can save all the exploration for next time. Cause there's gonna be a lot of it. I'm sure it might be a pain in the ass. So we got to complete the last dungeon. Have fun with the harpy power. Got our stuff stolen by Risky. Next time, we'll try to find her hideout and get it back. But after we get everything else, first. We'll have to go back to the dungeons, get the warp squids, find the fireflies. We'll get it all. Now I'll make sure I do it in a nice, quick manner if possible. As long as I have that save man there, bobbing his head like he's listening to New Age rap. I'll be fine. Please listen to something better than New Age rap, old man. I would prefer that as well, myself. 